Hey, Sacred Rebel. Today I am bringing to you a visualization. It came to me this morning as, and I've used it in the past, but I feel like it's important for us to be talking about it and using it consistently. As we move through this planet, for those of us who are sensitive or in tune to energy and our intuition, it can be very easy for us to pick up the BS that other people leave behind. Think about it like parts and particles. You're moving through this space, there's these parts and particles around you, and as you move through this space, whether that is um, physically in the world, or even online in social media, your energy moving through, your thoughts, your emotions moving through what's out there in the world, it is possible for different types of debris to connect to your, um, let's call it your aura or your energy space, this energy that sits around you. Uh, just like if you were outside and it was raining, you'd get raindrops on you. If it was like if dust had kicked up, you might end up with dust on your space, on your clothes. And, and when we come home from those things, we can change, we can clean it off, throw it in the laundry. And so what I want to share with you today is a way for us to kind of clear that muck and that grime that has accidentally attached itself or that we've accidentally picked up through moving through the world through moving through the world. And so um, this is a visualization. That's how I like to work. If you don't know me, my name's Deb. Nice to meet you. I consider myself the head unicorn and master soul guide. And so what we're gonna be doing today is moving some energy, but I don't like to move energy for you. I like you to move it for yourself. And so this visualization is to help you remove a lot of that grime or mud. And as I woke up this morning, um, kind of in my own stuckness, what that looked like is just a whole bunch of mud caked onto my body that didn't need to be there. So we're gonna step through this process. What I want you to do or invite you to do is to get comfortable. You can do this in your chair. Feel free to lie down wherever is comfortable and feel safe to you. And I am gonna invite you to close your eyes and walk through this visualization with me. Now, one thing to always remember is that even though I might lead, be leading you down a certain path with this particular visualization, whatever helps you is good. So if your brain shows you something else or your spirit shows you something else, go ahead and follow it. The idea simply behind this is that we're releasing the extra stuff that isn't ours to hold and isn't ours to carry. Okay, so go ahead and sit back, relax, take a deep breath in, hold it, let it out, and relax. We're just going to become present in your body, present in what you're feeling, Bring your energy and your awareness back to this physical form. We're going to bring it inside of your aura or your energetic bubble. And we're just going to have presence inside of ourselves. So pay attention to any tightness that you feel in your body. Pay attention to any pain points. Just make note of it. It's a way to bring us back. Also pay attention to anything that feels good. Sometimes we're so caught up in the, like, the yuck that we forget to pay attention to what feels good. Where do we feel good in our body? What feels free and spacious inside? Just be present with it. Go ahead and take one more breath in. Hold for a moment. And then as we exhale, I'm gonna invite you to drop down to your heart center, okay? Just this part of your chest. Go ahead and exhale. Bring your awareness to your heart center. Good. And from this space, I want you to imagine yourself in a mountain meadow. So you are now standing in this meadow. You can see trees around you, whatever trees you desire. Out in the distance, you can see the top of mountains. Perhaps there's a glacier lake, either down below or out in the distance that you can see. And around you is a field. Maybe the grass is tall. Maybe there are flowers. Whatever works for you, whatever helps you feel present in that space, just place yourself there. And I want you to notice as you take a step forward into this meadow that is safe, that is yours, that is completely protected from the outside energies of the world, that as you take this step forward, I want you to look down and notice that your body is covered in mud, in grime. And it may be as thin or as thick as it, as it shows up for you. So either way, at whatever layer, you just notice that you're covered in this mud. And for every step that you take, you can feel the heaviness of it. You can feel how hard it is to move through, through it. it. It's slowing you down, it's stopping your steps. 
Okay, so take another step and feel the weight of it. And I want you to recognize as you look at your legs, as you look at your arms and this caked on mud at whatever thickness it is for you, I want you to notice and recognize that it is not yours. It's not yours. You can touch your face if you want. You can touch your shoulders or your chest. This mud, it's not yours. Doesn't matter where it came from. Doesn't matter where you picked it up or how you picked it up. It just, it's on you and it's not yours. You can notice any pebbles in there, any rocks or gravel that got picked up with that mud, but it is caked onto your body. And in this space, I'm going to invite you to make a choice because choice is one of the most powerful gifts we have. And the choice that you have before you is do you want to keep the grime and the mud or are you willing to release it from your body? Now, if you've chosen to keep it, this would be the place where you wake up, walk away. But if you've chosen to release it with me, I'm going to invite you to look out in the distance of this space that you're in over the mountains where you see dark, roiling storm clouds, okay? And you notice that that is coming towards you. But instead of feeling fearful that you're gonna be caught in the storm, you feel the electricity and the excitement of something coming, the power that's being held in that storm cloud. And I'm gonna invite you to walk to meet it. So you're gonna walk out into the center of the field, pulling that mud with you, working through that flexing, until you are in the center of the field and as you move forward, that storm moves forward. Watch those clouds come towards you. Watch them move over you. And then as you guys meet in the center of your meadow, the clouds are going to part and the rain is going to fall. And it's heavy rain. It's powerful rain. Not so much that it hurts, but you definitely can feel it. It's not those moments where you feel like this guy might be spinning on you. This is actual raindrops powerfully hitting the top of your head. And I want you just to be in this space, in this moment, feeling the rain as it washes that grime from the top of your head, passing down your face and your neck, every part and particle of dirt breaking free from your hair, from your skin, from your clothes, as it washes down this water, washing down your neck and your shoulders, Feel the water and the dirt running down your arms and off of your fingertips, dropping to the ground beneath you. Feel it rush over your chest and your abdomen. Feel it pour down your back. More rain, hard and powerful and delicious and exciting and freeing as it washes this dirt and this mud and those bits of gravel from your body. Feel it move over your hips and down your legs. Feel it move past your knees and down your calves, all of it. Rinsing you clean layer after layer after layer. And it doesn't matter how thick your particular mud pile is. Doesn't matter how thick it is on your skin or on your clothes. The rain that is descending from the sky is more powerful than anything that is attached to your body. And we're simply going to choose into receiving this gift of cleanliness of washing that the clouds that the heavens are giving to us in this moment. We're just going to allow that to wash us until all of the things that were attached to us have been washed clear of our body. And just take a moment, check your arms, check your legs, check everything that you can see. Go ahead and touch your hair. Make sure it's all clean. And if you need more time, stay here for a moment. Stay here and allow this rain to just wash everything from your body and from your space. And once you notice that everything is gone, everything is clean, you looked around, I want you to look at the ground beneath you and to see that it has created this like mud puddle in, around your feet, around the earth, just all of this dirt and mud and yuck now gathered at your feet. But the pooling the washing away of the water has pushed it away from your feet. So it's almost like there's this like a ring of dirt around your feet, a ring of mud because it's wet now, okay? And as you're watching, I want you to notice the ground kind of open up and absorb all of this for you. You don't have to clean it up. You don't have to do something to break free of it. You don't have to do anything but allow the earth to take it. I want you to watch as every part and particle that has been washed from you 
is soaked up by the earth. All of it. All of the dirty water, all of the mud, all of the gravel, all of the everything absorbed by the earth. And the rain's going to stop and we're going to allow the earth to absorb everything that was washed from us until all that is left is that beautiful meadow with those gorgeous flowers or tall grasses. You can't even see. As you look around your feet, you can't even see anything that had been on your body. It's gone, taken, cleansed, cleared for you by the heavens and received by the earth. And before we leave this space of this meadow, we're gonna express gratitude to the heavens for this delicious, wonderful rain. The storm cloud is gonna continue moving past us and on to other places where it needs to go, but we are grateful for the rain that washed us clean and grateful for the earth that was willing to take and to cleanse that mud that's been holding on to us, all that extra stuff that isn't actually ours to hold. So express your gratitude to the heavens and to the earth for this. And then I want you to notice as the clouds move over, the sun peeking out, warming the meadow, warming you, feel the rays on your face, feel the rays on your chest. Notice the smell of ozone in the air. Maybe there's a breeze that blows by, <laughs> blows by. okay? Maybe you hear animals or birds in the distance. Whatever you need to feel fulfilled, meaning we've just cleaned this muck off. Now we want to feel free, dry, whole. Let that sun hit you on the face. Let it hit you on the chest. Receive it from the crown of your head all the way down to your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your limbs, out your fingertips. Allow that warmth to move down your chest, your abdomen, down your spine, reaching around with your ribs, moving through all of your internal organs as it continues to spread down through your legs, over your thighs and your knees, down your calves, and all the way down to your feet and your toes. Feel that connection to that kind of astral energy above. Feel, push your feet against the ground and feel that groundedness with earth beneath supporting you, giving you back life and oxygen and air. Take a deep breath in. Hold it for a moment. Allow the light and life to live in you, to light up all of your cells, to support you in this moment of cleansing and releasing and to fill you back in with power. And then exhale. Anything else that might be in there. We're going to take another breath. Breathe in. Hold again, allowing that light and life to fill you and to expand outside of you. Like if you were to take two steps back, you would see the shine filling your body, expanding past your skin, filling your bubble. Go ahead and exhale. And one more time, I want you to breathe deeply in of that light and that life. Go ahead and inhale. And hold that. And now watch that light and that life expand past your skin. It's going to reach the end of your bubble and it's going to expand past that. Watch as it expands past that. Not your bubble. You can still clearly see your space, but your light is going to expand to fill that meadow and beyond as far as you can reach. I know you're still holding your breath. Exhale. Receive anything that you need at this time. If your higher power has a message for you, receive the message. If your intuition or highest self is speaking to you, receive the message. If there's anything else you need to hear or receive at this time, any more love, any more filling, any more power, just receive. Choose to receive. And when you feel ready, open your eyes. Thank you so much for journeying with me today in this visualization in the meadow. This is something you can use anytime you desire, workplace, at home, anytime you start to feel like you've taken on things that aren't your own. This is a really great way to move that out of you, through you, and down into the earth who is actually designed to take it and cleanse it and give you back light and life. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you next time.